Good afternoon, everyone. What's going on there? It's the Earthmaster here on this Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. It's uh, about 12, 16 p.m. here along the West Coast. 61 degrees outside here in Northern California and sunny. The latest earthquake shows a 3.3 in this area of Turkey once again. Still uh, looking at uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity here over the last 24 hours. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, movement here across the USGS map. I'm going to scoot in here slightly and uh, take a look at this activity. Uh, it looks like there's a lot less showing up here on the map because this is uh, basically 4.0 and above. So we're looking at less four pointers, but we're still seeing some uh, stronger after aftershock activity uh, continuing around the region of Turkey. Latest one shows a 5.0 uh, coming in this morning. Had a couple fives overnight, mostly uh, in the upper four range. We're still seeing that little migration of activity here further south. Kind of watching this zone pretty closely. Um, a look at the EMSC model. This shows pretty much all the earthquakes um, within this vicinity of Turkey. Getting just the outer line of it. Also the northeastern edge here where it kind of migrates around the plate boundary. I'm still seeing a little bit of movement migrate to the northeast uh, with some adjustment further away from the plate boundary. This map here shows, check out that tally, 849 earthquakes uh, basically since this uh, shows last week. So basically since we've seen this earthquake activity ramp up following that 7.8, you can probably count out one or two earthquakes here on the map, maybe a couple. But uh, that's a lot of earthquake activity there, folks. Um, and this will continue for a little while. Looking at the other side of it here uh, shows roughly about the same. But we're missing a good chunk. Um, unfortunately, I can't really zoom in specifically on one section here. Uh, this one shows about 738 uh, with continued migration here to the south. Um, so watch for, uh, you know, definitely watch for further activity. Sometimes when we get these larger quakes uh, popping off, there's always, you know, a good likelihood of a, a large aftershock, if not the equivalent of the main quake. Um, kind of like what we've seen there with that 7.5 following the 7.8, but that was actually a good distance away. Um, so we'll go through like uh, about 48 hours of aftershocks and the magnitudes tend to get a little bit lower out here. Uh, it seems as though each day, but... Uh, can't uh, discredit that window of possibility uh, once it starts to quiet up a little bit to see a renewed larger aftershock. Again, uh, the let's show you guys all the magnitudes here uh, over the last week. And now this is just going to be uh, 4.0 and above for this area. The USGS unfortunately does not have the option to throw up all the other earthquakes up here. I really wish they did, but they don't. So international 4.0 and above. Uh, and they're listing 148 earthquakes at 4.0 and above. And that's still pretty impressive. But got to remember all those hundreds of threes and twos and ones uh, that the EMSC were showing. And there's probably a lot more than that. Uh, so we could probably uh, assume that there's well over a thousand earthquakes following that 7.8 there a few days ago, a couple days ago. Okay, so so far in the mix, 7.8 is the largest. That was the big quake. And then uh, up north here, about 60 miles off of the plate boundary was a 7.5 uh, kicking up there. So far, we've seen a 6.7 and uh, a couple other sixes as well. Uh, but these all pretty much followed the, uh, the main quake. But as time goes on, uh, and it could be here in a couple days or maybe a couple weeks as things mellow out a little bit. There's always that renewed likelihood of seeing possibly something up into the 6 um, range again, upper 6 range. So we'll watch this area pretty closely. Either way, that's a lot of earthquake activity. Uh, and those poor folks are dealing with quite a bit of mess out there. And uh, we'll definitely keep those folks in our thoughts and prayers and hope that uh, things mellow out for them. All right, uh, looking at the states here, United States, Yellowstone National Park here. If you notice, we have, kind of have to zoom in here to see this earthquake activity. About 30 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. Uh, the largest magnitude was a 2.9 yesterday coming in. Uh, had a couple mid-area mid twos, mid-range twos, I should say. 
uh, in the area of the northwest corner of Yellowstone National Park. Now, these guys are only showing 30 earthquakes, but I guarantee you, when you take a look at this uh, seismograph station here, a couple of them, um, you can see exactly how many are popping off here around the, I think it's centered, it looks like it's centered roughly around the Maple Creek or the Madison River area. I'm going to lean towards the Maple Creek area because it is showing some of these smaller quakes, but that is a lot of earthquake activity here. Again, uh, the largest one, uh, what are they saying, is a 2.9. Let me check this out here. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, UTC time is going to be 0344. 0344 is going to be 0344. That's going to be this one right about here. So that's going to be the 2.9. So these other ones prior look like they're the mid twos. Following that activity overnight, <clears throat> uh, we had uh, well some smaller ones, but quite a bit of them. There's numerous earthquakes here overnight uh, and this morning into the Yellowstone area. Uh, they're showing 30 earthquakes, but we could probably add on another 60 or so if we count all these individual smaller ones. But most of the time, the USGS doesn't really uh, count every single one of them. Um, so they're showing about 30 earthquakes up there now. Uh, but either way, part of an ongoing sequence of earthquake activity there at Yellowstone. <clears throat> and um, let me see, where'd my other map go here? I did have the University of Utah pulled up here. Kind of like to check them out as well because the uh, the other site there that monitors the Yellowstone overviews uh, sometimes get delayed. So this here is the most recent one uh, up to the current time frame. And uh, yeah, quite a bit of earthquake activity, folks. We'll continue to watch that. It's been a little while since we've seen a good size swarm. Now, nothing popping off above three yet. We have had earthquake swarms that have popped off threes and fours uh, magnitudes in the past. Uh, but for now, um, somewhat of a, a moderate sized swarm kicking off there at Yellowstone currently. Northern California, awfully quiet. Nothing really going on aside from the Clear Lake volcanic field up here. Very typical movement around that area. And Long Valley Super Volcano. It's kind of odd how we get both these volcanoes stirring up at the same time uh, but this one not quite as intense 2.8 the largest here just outside of the caldera now we can check out the seismograph stations down there let me um, not now i don't want to take that let me uh bring up long valley super volcano here real quick and it's in the mix here of a bunch of different volcanoes yes southern california has volcanoes too so Here's Mammoth Mountain, Long Valley, Super Volcano. Yes, it is a Super Volcano. Let's see what we got here for uh, some data. And seismograph stations, uh, the ones I think I need to monitor, are going to be right over here. There's a little bit of activity there. Let's see, it always does that for whatever reason. I'm not for sure what the technical er issue is. Um, that one's offline. And pull this one back up here and see yeah definitely nothing like what yellowstone is seeing there's that two point uh was it 2.8 that struck there almost past the 24-hour threshold but as you can see there's been a couple smaller quakes since then uh, but again nothing like what we've seen there at uh, yellowstone national park a little 0.7 the latest quake coming into the long valley area of california Movement across the Ridgecrest area, pretty minimal. Uh, extreme Southern California, a little spotty activity out here west of the Salton Sea area, 1.5. Pretty shallow earthquake. The sleeping giant out here, the San Andreas Fault, remains quiet for now. Let's see what else we got here. Texas area, a little spotty movement out. Eh, it looks like outside of Pecos area. Nothing overnight, though. Um... Well, since midnight, last one was just uh, about 11.30 last night. A little small microquake. Nothing going on across the eastern portion of the country. Around the Caribbean plate, showing a slight uptick, including a 5.5 off the coast of Honduras. Uh, right there around the Caribbean plate boundary, 10 kilometers deep. Uh, also some activity in the Middle America Trench from yesterday. Fairly spotty movement across the Puerto Rico area today. Uh, with the latest one, it looks like a 
down here in our swarming area. A little bit of movement across the Mona Passage and the Dominican. Um, let's see where this one's at. Yeah, the Dominican Republic area 3.0 from yesterday. Uh, South America got one lonesome earthquake, 4.7 there from yesterday, but we're going to double check, make sure. Uh, looks like a couple smaller quakes listed up here on the map. I am going to bring this down slightly because of the amount of earthquake activity occurring over in Turkey has dwindled slightly. Um, and when there was a whole bunch all at once there, uh, what it did to this program was kind of it, it took away the quakes for the number of hours that I normally keep tuned up here, which is around 24, the 24-hour 24 period. And um, I don't like to overdo it. So I had to adjust those hours a little bit. But that's more accurate for the last 24 hours. Still seeing some activity here around the Mediterranean. Uh, 3.9, the latest, it looks like, into... Uh, it looks like it's onshore near Algeria. Two kilometers deep for that earthquake. Atlantic Ocean is calm and clear. 2.9 coming in, it looks like, around the... Um, um, looks like the Costa Rica area, possibly just north of there. New Zealand hasn't really seen too much activity down here. This is our quiet zone once again. Uh, nothing really showing up across the area of New Zealand currently. Movement across Papua New Guinea. And Solomon Islands all shown uh, quite a few fives. Let me see what we got here across the area. Following that train of westward movement here across the Solomon Islands. Uh, this act some of this activity from this morning, it looks like. A couple fives and some fours. One 5.4 in the Solomon Islands from yesterday. All other activity is newer movement, including some further deep activity into the Fiji area. Sol uh, the... Um, Kermadec Trench South is very quiet for now. Up here into the Japan area and into our major watch zone. Late last night, we seen another earthquake here into the Crow Islands, the Crow Kamchaka Trench, 35 kilometers deep for 4.6. And some further activity down south at the southern end of the Crow Kamchaka Trench for 4.4, a little bit deeper at 53 kilometers. Uh, a little bit of uh, activity down south here. Uh, is that Tanzania? Right? 4.7, 10 kilometers deep early this morning kicking off here. Now, I know historical data um, doesn't really show a whole lot of movement here. It's a ways away from plate boundary or any major rift zone. Looks like historical data since about 1900. Shows maybe uh, a 4.5 or so within the vicinity of today's earthquake there since about 1900. But overall, like I say, not very seismically active uh, in that area <coughs> of the world. Alaska area uh, looks about the same here. Nothing major going on across the region. Just uh, very typical activity across this area of the uh, subduction zone, got the Pacific and the North American plate. All right, space weather activity is bumping pretty nicely here with uh, some flaring. Make sure I got the most recent uh, page, which it looks like we do. Uh, look at this flare over here. This one's peaking up pretty nicely, getting uh, some very dramatic flaring going on. Kind of looks like a match on the sun. Well, this is definitely a lot larger than a match. Uh, but that thing is peaking up pretty nicely. Looks like that should be peaking into the M flare category. It is facing away from Earth, so it may be showing um, a little bit less than what it would be if it was directly facing the Earth. It is reaching into the M 1.5 right now, but notice that uptrend of activity here over the last 48 hours. We're looking at things really kicking up here um, on the sun currently. From not only that sunspot here on the eastern limb, uh, but this one up here throughout uh, a couple double M flares yesterday. And we got a couple other regional sunspots here that we're going to pay close attention to here in the coming days. Now the sunspot that's way over here, right? can barely see it on the latest image, or at least last night's image. We've got to go over here to the latest. And that's going to be the sunspot that's currently thrown off that low-grade M flare that looks like a match there on the sun. 
Notice a lot of intermixing here of all the colors, indicating a very complex magnetic structure with that sunspot. I think that may be the one to watch in the coming days. That is positioned and lined up uh, fairly nicely on the sun to where it will be geo-effective should any major CME get uh, produced. Um, at least four or five sunspots here harbor some potential for some strong M flares and that's going to be uh, these up here. You can see them. They're, they're fairly dramatic looking, right? Uh, down here where we only have one color. These are sunspots, but they're decaying. We're looking for the complex structure here in the ma magnetic field. Reds, yellows, greens, blues, all positioned uh, fairly close in proximity to one another, such as this one up here. Those harbor, um, you know, some possibility for some stronger flares. And stable uh, is the word here when it comes to looking at those structures. Uh, so there's at least four, five. Got to watch these other sunspots here coming around as well. Um, so yeah, it could be a very, very active next few days. Uh, elevated conditions here, 55% chance for an M flare. X flare has been elevated to 10% and 99% certainty for a C flare. We'll watch these in the coming days here, folks, for uh, some major strong flaring. All right, uh, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Going to jump off here and enjoy the sunshine. It's supposed to be almost 70 degrees today. Unfortunately, I got quite a bit of schoolwork due today. There's a little earthquake in uh, Yellowstone right there. And it keeps popping off. Um, that's around the Lake Yellowstone. So that got picked up pretty nicely. Again, going to be this, uh, this one right here. Showing that uh, fairly good spike of an earthquake. Probably going to be another... Another two at least. Nothing showing up on the USGS map yet, but uh, we're watching it. All right, folks, have a good day. Stay safe. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on this evening. Have a good one.